Okay, so this, this is a separate video just for this next part in the process because it's extremely critical. Uh, now we're getting a little more into the engineering of the actual spring itself. So remember on this pattern how I established that a seven and a quarter inch mark from here to the end was perfectly straight and flat. Then it started curving, right? Then over here in that original pattern video, I said that there was an inch and a half spot at the 16 inch mark that was flat, okay? So I want to line that up and I'll explain why in a moment. So this can be a little off, you know, we'll get her pretty close. Okay, just make, well, we have our lines here on the pattern, so we can just line that up. Okay, so we're gonna take, we're just gonna mark it right on our pattern. Okay, I'm just gonna get it close. Okay, I'm gonna mark this here. Okay, we're just gonna put an F for flat, F for flat, okay. This pattern is toast, okay. The reason why that's important is because there's some engineering going on with the spring itself. So, as you know, this is not a flat spring. It's got a slight arc. I did that intentionally. It's similar to preloading a spring or a shock. You're taking some of that tension out because, like any type of spring, similar to especially a flat spring, the initial inch or two of movement on that spring is real soft. It's real easy. So we're, we're going to put a little arc in here and stiffen that thing up right away. But I'm going to put... A special insert into this area and possibly here I'm not sure but uh, at least we have them established and now that gives us some latitude as far as how we want to engineer this spring